Hey guys, so in today's video I thought it'd be good to talk about the different ways you can house guinea pigs. Um, so there are a few different ways and I have kind of a couple opinions on the best ways to keep guinea pigs. Um, but I thought it'd be kind of interesting to talk about the pros and cons of them because I know that a lot of people just getting guinea pigs get a bit confused on what's the best way to actually house them. Um, so I'm going to be covering kind of four of the main housing situations that guinea pigs have. So first up I wanted to talk about how guinea pigs are housed in outside hutches. So this is when it's just a standalone hutch in the garden. Um, it can be, there are some hutches that are on the grass uh, with an upstairs bit that's just the wooden house and then there's other ones that are just completely enclosed in the, ha in the hutch. So in my opinion I don't think guinea pigs should be kept like this. I'll explain why and I'm not coming for anyone that actually does keep their guinea pigs like this. This is kind of just my personal opinions um, from research I've done. Um, but yeah, I'm not like, I'm not hating on people that do. I'm just wanting to inform people that may not have thought of these things. So to start with, so like I mentioned with the hutches that have a grass section, this can cause a bit of a problem in terms of parasites. Now... The grass is not a clean area anyway, but, you know, it, it's not obviously, you, as soon as you put something on the grass, it's going to pick up a parasite or anything. It's not like that, but wild animals can track through there and leave other parasites. I mean, I put my guinea pigs in the grass, um, in, uh, I mean, I put my guinea pigs on the grass in summer and I've not really had any issues with that. So maybe it's okay, but it is a thing to think about if, um, if you have got a grass section to your hutch. Next up, I want to talk about insects with the hutches. So with outdoor hutches, there are a lot of different insects that can get to the guinea pigs. Um, so to start with, slugs and snails, uh, they can crawl into the cage. I've seen a couple things about um, slugs actually trying to get to the food bowl um, and eating the guinea pig's food or getting stuff all over it, which is pretty gross. Another main one is flies. So in the summer... Um, fly strike can be quite a problem. It's not as much of a problem for guinea pigs than it is for rabbits, but it is still a problem. And you need to be careful with that because if you don't know what fly strike is, it's where flies come and sit on the bums of animals and they lay their eggs and then the, they hatch and then they start eating the animal from the inside, basically. It's really gross. So that can be a risk factor, especially if maybe you're not on top of cleaning or like there's a particularly messy guinea pig that's not good at keeping its bum clean. So that is something to look out for. Uh, another one with insects I would say would be potentially spiders. I've seen a couple things about spiders. Um, like really, I'm, I'm pretty sure it was in the UK. I'm not sure. It might differ depending on what country you are in any way about what pests you have. Uh, I mean insects you have. But the I have heard of a case of a spider killing two guinea pigs by biting them. I think it must have been some sort of like... I don't know, venom poison situation, but I'm I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> That's just something that you could be aware of. So the next thing with the hutches outside is pests. Um, so when I say pests, I mean mice, rats. Um, is there any others? Those are the main two. So again, these creatures would like to go for the food uh, and the haze and stuff that are in the guinea pig cages. These can... These can cause no problems sometimes, but there are things that they can pass on to your guinea pigs, um, illnesses, parasites again. Um, but with the the rats, I have actually heard of a case where a rat got into a guinea pig's cage and actually killed the guinea pigs. So that's another thing to think about. Obviously, I think a lot of things like this are kind of rare, but it's just what some things for you to maybe make your decision on if you're deciding to keep your guinea pigs in a certain area. Next up is predators. So this again will vary depending on where you are in the world because every every place has a different kind of predator. I'm in the UK and so the main predators to guinea pigs are foxes and cats. Dogs as well, but it's very unlikely a dog's going to arrive in your, uh, your back garden. And birds of prey, but a bird of prey isn't going to pay much attention to a, a cage. So with the predators, my problem with that and with having guinea pigs in hutches is that 
I've seen countless videos of cats and foxes going up to the cage, um, maybe trying to open it or even successfully open it, then obviously killing the animals inside. But the main thing with that is as well, it's very scary for the guinea pigs. Um, and from personal experience, well, secondhand personal experience, one of my guinea pigs, Tokyo, that I adopted, she was put up for adoption because she had actually lost her sister because of this situation. She, a predator, came up to the cage, scared them. Sadly, one of the guinea pigs had a heart attack and it actually left Tokyo, I think, with heart problems because she did, about half a year later, pass away from heart failure. So I think that probably impacted her, her health with that experience so it can be very scary for guinea pigs and obviously life-threatening if they actually manage to open the cage so yeah that is isn't a big thing to think about with the hutches is what other animals can get to your guinea pigs um it's not always a problem but again it is a thing that can happen so being aware of it is important so the next thing with the cages outside is their temperatures so In the UK, again, it varies very much from country to country. In the UK, it gets too cold for guinea pigs at the winter. It just does. I know there's a lot of people I've seen on Instagram that actually have indoor hutches for winter, which I think is obviously the best option for that if you you have outdoor hutches, bringing them inside or in indoor cages inside over the the colder months. I think that's probably the best idea for that. Because you can get covers for your hutches, but... Honestly, I don't know how much they do because there's always a, a draft coming up. Um, so I don't think they do a great deal. Um, but yeah, winter is just too cold for guinea pigs. They do have a fur coat, but it's not strong enough to, to vi- survive winter a lot of the time. Again, I've sadly heard... I knew someone in real life that actually his guinea pigs froze to death, which oh, it just it's so sad to think about them just out there in the cold. But the temperatures here do get too cold a another thing with the heat is in summer in the uk it gets really hot um (laughs) occasionally not all the time but there are we do get like bouts of very strong heat and the hutches kind of retain that heat a lot and can cause guinea pigs to go into heat stroke which is life-threatening a lot of the time there's not i don't know how many ways there are to keep them cool um there's a couple oh (laughs) Sayu's going crazy for Tilty. Oh my god. Sorry, yeah, Sayu's in season. Um, there are a couple of things you can do to keep them cool in winter um, and summer. So you can do like the frozen water bottles, maybe even a fan, but I'm not sure how that works outside. You've just got to make sure they're in the shade as well, actually. That's a good one. Yeah, making sure they're in the shade. But even then, it, they can get really hot. So you've got to be quite careful with that sort of situation um and following on from the heat i've also seen on like these guinea pig forums on facebook and stuff yeah, hutches have actually caught fire when it's been really hot so like because hutches are really dry environments because you've got like all the hay you've got the wooden cage you've got the little wood shavings which are usually used in hutches and if this a really hot sun is magnified it can it can set on fire I don't, this is again I don't think this is common at all this is like quite a rare thing but it happens so they are the main things with that um and then my last point on outdoor hutches I'm sorry I feel I sound like I'm going in on outdoor hutches and I'm not I'm not trying to be like that but I just want to make it clear why I'm not a fan of them um it's humans so again this is not a thing that happens commonly But I have heard of people coming into back gardens and just straight up stealing your pets. Um, Whether that is because they can't afford to buy the pet for themselves or if it's, in the case of guinea pigs, it could be to feed a a big snake. Um, You just don't know. And I think it's not as secure um, as being in another sort of situation. So again that is a risk obviously maybe it depends on the area you live if you live in a a different area that maybe has more theft going on and generally or like if you have a very open backyard that people can see you have guinea pigs and like see their way in and there's easy ways for them to get in and out without no one noticing 
Uh, just stuff like that you've got to be aware of. Um, so yeah, hutches in my opinion aren't great for guinea pigs. Um, outdoor hutches that is. Um, but honestly it depends on how you feel really. So next up is having guinea pigs in sheds. So sheds are quite a good option. I used to have my guinea pigs in sheds actually. Um, but there are a few things again you need to keep in mind for their safety in a shed. So I'm going to talk about the pests again. So if you live, it depends on where you live, but mice and rats can eventually burrow their way in, like chew through the wood. They can get in if they want to. Um, I had, we had mice at one point when we had rabbits in the shed. Um, but, you know, set some humane traps, collect them all and release them into a field. It's not too bit of a problem, but you do have to make sure. Just keep an eye out if there's any like weird stuff that's being nibbled and like if the food bags have got holes in them, then you can kind of figure out if there's anything going on. Um, and flies can be another problem in sheds. With it being a quite a hot thing in in the summer, you're going to need to open the doors when it's a hot day. Flies can come in. Again, fly strike can happen. So from what I did when I had my guinea pigs in the shed was we had a back window and we had the front door of the shed which had like a one of those like horse opening things so it had the top and the bottom that was separate that could open separately and so what we did is we stuck some fly screen to both things so that the flies couldn't get in when it needed but then it created a nice breeze through when it got really hot because again in like the shed uh, like the hutches sheds can get really hot and they can really retain the heat i think sheds are actually worse than hutches for retaining heat um and so you've got to make sure you've got an airflow going through um maybe f fans better in the shed actually if you have electricity to the shed um again the cold water bottles stuff like that is very important in sheds so in the the winter they're not as bad sheds are pretty good for keeping them warm but I still suggest adding extra things to keep them warm so cozy beds help lots more hay but what we did in our shed is we had um two heaters so we could put these heaters on um at night just when it gets extra cold so just keep them warm um and also fleeces over the cages so like more cage covers stuff like that but I will warn you, with the heaters, be very careful on what heater you get because you need to make sure it's a heater that won't set on fire um, and won't end up being like um, a hazard with all the... Because, again, it's very dry, so you've got the sawdust. You want to make sure nothing can set on fire because that would be awful. Um, sheds for the human aspect. Again, people can get into sheds pretty easily. Most people don't have a lock on their shed, as in like... A, a lock that you'd need to have like a key to or something but you have the option of doing that if you don't feel like they're safe so next i'm going to be talking about keeping your guinea pigs in a garage so some people have garages that have doors into their houses mine doesn't we we have to go through the actual garage doors to get into this shed and um, the garage but the the thing about garages again Heat can be a problem I found in my garage. Again, my different other people's garages, but my garage gets pretty hot in the summer. Um, obviously, you could open the garage door for ventilation, but that's what you have in there. And if you trust people not to just go in there and nick stuff. Um, if you keep cars in the garage, I wouldn't suggest keeping guinea pigs in there as well because cars can give off a lot of fumes, um, which obviously isn't good for the guinea pig's lungs. Um, and as well as that, garages... I don't usually have windows. Uh, mine has one window, but they're usually quite dark. And even with like house lights, I think it's not very good for guinea pigs to not get any natural sunlight. So garages can, it again, it very much depends on what type of garage you have. You need to kind of look into it and see, monitor what temperatures change. Because again, actually, it gets really, they can get really cold as well. So you've got to make sure that that's getting to safe temperatures, no fumes. And there's enough light for them to not be just complete darkness all the time. So the last place that guinea pigs can be housed that I can think of <laughs> is in your house. So in my opinion, this is the best option for guinea pigs. 
on pretty much all levels. Um, I know that for some people it's not possible and the sheds can be a good option instead. Um, especially if you have like maybe allergies. Like I, I have quite bad allergies to the hay, but I, I just kind of put up with it. But I know it would set a lot of people off and you can't cope with that sort of thing. Um, for the houses, temperature is usually pretty okay. Um, you need to make sure you don't have the the heating on too hot uh, in the winter because it can <laughs> it's actually the opposite of when they're outside is the winters indoors can be a lot more hot than it would be for them in summer. So you've got to make sure you they're not right next to a radiator that's going to be giving off a lot of heat. Um, but other than that, room temperature is pretty much fine for guinea pigs. They're, they're comfortable in indoors in houses. So one of the... Another worry with keeping your pets indoors is what other pets you have in the house. So if you have dogs, cats, those are the main two that I would say are a worry with guinea pigs. Um, maybe birds if they peck. I'm not sh- I'm not sure on birds though. But dogs and cats, because they're predatory animals, naturally they'd want to kill guinea pigs. They want to chase guinea pigs. You've got to be very careful if you do have these animals in your house. Um so maybe keeping your guinea pigs up on a table uh, i've seen quite a lot of cnc cages on top of tables uh, that can be a good way if you have like a dog um lids to your cages if you have a cat that can jump in them that sort of thing even if you do trust your animals with your guinea pigs it's not it's not good for them um it can be quite stressful for guinea pigs to be looked at or like licked by a big animal so i would say always try and avoid two different animals seeing each other because it's just there's risks involved that it's just not worth it you know what I mean like seeing your guinea pig and your cat together is it worth the the potential that your cat could just swipe and hurt its eye or something you know what I mean it's not in my opinion it's not it's not a good idea so that is a thing to think about whether or not the environment inside the house is going to end up being safer or more dangerous for the guinea pigs so maybe you have a room that's dedicated to them like I do but I mean I don't have any other pets but you could have like that shut off so like the dog can't get in there or something stuff like that this is kind of more of a positive point and a negative to the other ones um is that when guinea pigs are inside your house you can see them daily you can although you go to visit them obviously when you you and feed them took them up for bed and stuff in the shed and the outdoor hutch and stuff you can basically see your guinea pig 24 7 when they're in the house and this means that you you know their routines, you know how they act, you know what they like to eat when they do stuff. And you can very quickly see if anything changes. So any illness signs, which is a very important thing with guinea pigs because guinea pigs can go downhill so fast. They can one day just be seemingly normal, next day they're on death's door. So you've got to be very careful with guinea pigs and being able to see, oh, he's not sit- he's, he's sitting a bit funny, he's not eating as much today. You can be right on top of what they need doing and try and change that for them and try and save them. So for that point, I definitely think having guinea pigs indoors is a much greater advantage um, in terms of checking for illnesses. Um, But yeah, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover on the different different housing situations for guinea pigs. Again, this is not me coming for anyone if you keep your guinea pig in a a hutch or a garage or whatever I don't want I'm not trying to say you're doing stuff wrong I'm just saying f- my personal opinion and maybe in educating some people on things they hadn't thought about um it would definitely be interesting to hear what you guys have to think about it in the comments see if you've got any more um housing situations you want to talk about any pros and cons that I've missed maybe of having them in the different areas but yeah I think I think it's an interesting topic to consider because I think a lot of the time people assume, oh, it's a it's a guinea pig or like like with the same with rabbits, it's a rabbit sticking a hutch outside, that's it. But there's a lot more to it, especially with the different climates um, and areas of the world where it's just not suitable for that type of animal. But yeah, I'd like to hear you guys' opinions. Please keep it friendly in the comments. Don't don't attack anyone over what they do or what they don't do. But yeah, I hope you guys found this helpful or enjoyable to watch. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.